name is Casey Lee. I chose to pursue the topic of nuclear fission due to my interest in the Manhattan Project. I researched the history and the background information for the project and worked on the script. My name is Anna Sosnowski. We chose to look into nuclear fission because it's very interesting to see how it works and because it affects the real world. I was in charge of the scientific aspects of the project, so I worked on background research and how the process of nuclear fission works. I also helped to edit the video. Ms. Bell calls me unimportant or not Kevin, but my real name is Melvin. This project sated my thirst for knowledge on the science and the impact of the nuclear bomb. And so, for this project, I took it upon myself to explore how the nuclear bomb shaped the world as we know it. The discovery of nuclear fission actually begins with James Chadwick's discovery of the neutron in 1932. Following his discovery, Enrico Fermi started extensive research and inve investigation into nuclear reaction produced from the collision of various elements in the neutron. In late 1938, Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann began experimenting with uranium. Hahn placed uranium beside a radioactive element and was researching what would happen when the speeding neutron crashes into the uranium atom. The force of the collision caused the uranium atom to split into two. Lee Smeitner, a physicist working with Hahn, theorized that the splitting of the atom would release energy as they broke into two. The amount of energy that would be released if all the atoms in a single ounce of uranium were to split would be destructive. News of the discovery broke in the midst of World War II. If fission had been discovered in Berlin, the U.S. theorized that German chemists were probably already working on an atomic bomb. The race to build the first atomic bomb was on. The Allies ultimately won that race and the war due to the bombing of the heavy water plant in Norway. This heavy water plant was Germany's access to heavy water, which the Nazis needed to produce nuclear weapons. This sabotage prevented the German nuclear energy project from requiring heavy water and halted their progress. The Manhattan Project in the U.S. was a research project funded by the U.S. government in an effort to develop the first atomic bomb. Headed by Major General Leslie Groves and Robert Oppenheimer, the project was successful developing two types of atomic bombs. America tested a nuclear bomb on August 6, 1945 on Hiroshima, then on August 9, 1945 on Nagasaki. The USSR declared war on Japan, but on August 10, 1945, Japan, ja the Japanese surrendered. Nuclear fission is the process where the nucleus of an atom splits, resulting in energy. This process can occur when the nucleus of a heavy atom gains a neutron, or spontaneously. Because the two particles combined have less mass than the original nucleus did, the remaining mass is transformed into energy. A nuclear reaction, or a chain reaction, can occur when the split of neutrons split off multiple times, or when the reaction gains more neutrons than it loses. When the nucleus splits, it can release additional neutrons, which can cause a chain reaction. If the energy is not contained, it can create a nuclear reaction. When a reaction is self-sufficient, it is called critical mass, and this is what affects the reaction. The amount of critical mass can be controlled by its shape, composition, or the purity of the matter. Neutrons are released, which can induce fission in nearby nucleus for a chain reaction. The discovery of nuclear fission led to the discovery of the atom bomb, which led to the atomic age. It is true that the advances made regarding nuclear energy has opened doors to potential benefit to society, like nuclear power plants. But the effect of this initial use can still be seen today. In terms of global effect, the mere concept of the weapon became a deterrent and a sign of power. Those with access to nuclear wet devices are to be feared, as the events witnessed in Hiroshima and Nagasaki reminded everyone of the potential destruction that could be wrought. A clear example of how much influence those with nuclear devices had, Japan shows it all. After the deployment of the little boy and the fat man, Japan's surrender was of no surprise. America took this chance to ensure that Japan would never become a potential threat, and also to impart some of America's culture as well. In regard to the former, in Article 9 of the Japanese Constitution, all potential war threats are prohibited, and in regard to, to the latter, Japan adopted a new government, constitutional monarchy. This change to constitutional monarchy incorporated many progressive American values, such as the right to labor unions, standard working conditions, enfranchising women, and increasing human rights. This is significant because the basis for this drastic change in J Japanese society and government stem from American influence. In Article 13 of the Constitution of Japan, it states, All of the people shall be respected as individuals. Their right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness shall, to the extent that it does not interfere with public welfare, welfare be the supreme consideration in legislation and in other governmental affairs. 
Note the phrase right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which comes f directly from the Declaration of Independence. The values of America, Americans being imposed upon a foreign place is testament to the power those with nuclear weapons have to shape this world. The list goes on about what else gets controlled. Trade, political, trade, political deals, just to name a few. The discovery of nuclear fission in 1939 led to threats of atomic bombing during World War II, which led to the Manhattan Project and others trying to discover atomic bombs, which led to the first atomic bomb being dropped on Hiroshima and then one on Nagasaki, which led to Japan's surrender in World War II, thus ending it. And this also led to American influence on Japanese society, so their new constitution and progressive movement, as well as overall American rule over society.